the biotech queen of Bangalore. Why Kiran Mazumdar Shaw became India's richest woman. From imitators to innovators, can Indian pharmaceuticals firms make the leap? And the challenge of China, how the two Asian giants are gearing up for the biotech battle. Our subject in this program has been called India's mother of invention. Born and bred in Bangalore, the country's famous high-tech hub, she's amassed a fortune of almost 500 million US dollars after floating her biotech company in 2004. And of course, I was not accepted because I was a woman. And when that happened, I was very disillusioned. And when this accidental opportunity came to set up a biotech company, uh, I felt, well, I had nothing to lose. A strong personality combined with a team-building management style. That's what first impressed colleagues like Sri Kumar Sriyanarayan. He was brought into the company when the workforce was only half a dozen strong. So she took me in and said, this is my lab, I'm building it, and you know, and it was, uh, it was a nice lab, okay? And she said, no, oh, no, I don't like that color, you know, I, you know, why don't you do it this way? Why don't you lay the tiles in this pattern? And I'm thinking to myself, like the CEO of the company is actually taking a big interest in, in the way the lab's looking. Science in this company must have a good future. Yes, you, you're seeing a reverse in brain uh, mm. trade, uh, and for both China and, and, and India also, because if you look at the U.S. Uh, biotechnology and pharmaceutical industry, you see a lot of Chinese and Indians well, exactly. working. Yeah. Yes. Actually, in fact, Biocon also benefited from this reverse brain drain uh, from the U.S. And as our contributors pointed out, the biotech sector in Asia is still at a critical stage as it prepares to make the leap from imitation to innovation. Well, that's all from this edition of Focus Asia Business Leaders. Thanks for watching. I'm Karen Koh. Goodbye. Thank you.